Okay, so soil organic matter is beneficial to the function and the fertility of WA agricultural soils. It's central to the physical, chemical and biological functioning of those soils. So recent estimates from the 2011 State of Environment report suggest that past climate variability and historic clearing of land has actually resulted in a 30 to 70 percent decline in soil organic matter levels in Western Australia. Its value is hard to quantify because it's, its impact is largely indirect. One of its primary values is in nutrient turnover and for example up to 80 percent of the nitrogen uptake in a crop can be the result of soil organic matter turnover. It's also valuable in terms of its water potential and holding capacity in sandy soils. So where we have low clay content, the importance of organic matter to holding water in that soil and supplying it to a crop is inherently valuable. So soil type is a primary determinant of soil organic matter levels in Western Australia. Soils with low clay content, so less than 5%, have a lower capacity to protect and keep the organic matter in place in a paddock. The other primary driver would be climate, so rainfall and temperature determine both the decomposition of the organic matter in soils, but also our inputs in terms of how big our biomass is when it's grown in a paddock. Um, so those two together end up with a balance in terms of our inputs with biomass and our losses associated with decomposition, but also with erosion events um, and losses from those paddocks. So there are a number of ways that farmers can improve their soil organic matter levels. Um, it's generally quite slow, but in essence what they need to do is look at increasing the amount of net primary productivity, so the amount of biomass going back into those paddocks. So some of the ways they can do that are by increasing the pasture rotations in different phases, um, well-managed agronomy to grow the biggest biomass possible and retain those residues on the paddock, as well as addressing their subsoil and soil constraints. So where they have a constraint to plant growth, they're obviously constraining the amount of organic matter that is returned to soils. So those are two quite easy management strategies to implement. Trying to reduce erosion losses. Most of the organic matter in soils is in the top 10 centimetres, so it's very important to protect that layer because if we lose it, we lose a large component, up to 60% of our uh, organic matter can be lost in a matter of minutes. Other ways that we can increase organic matter are by maintaining and managing our grazing so that it's not too intensive on any one area of the paddock, um, by retaining our stubble residues, our plant residues, and by reducing the amount of tillage or soil disturbance that's occurring on those paddocks. So as we disturb and break up soils, we're exposing that organic matter to decomposition and to losses.